Uh, at this time, uh, it's my very great pleasure to welcome to the stage the convention co-chair, Nikki Kraft. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> uh, the convention co-chair, Nikki Crabtree. Uh, she's going to present a very special video for you, and I have to thank Nikki. Uh, she's probably more than any other person responsible for being here in this position. So, um, if you like what you see, thank Nikki. If you don't, take it out on me. <laughs> <laughs> While they're looking for that, we do want to again remind you we've got the auction coming up in a very short while and some fantastic things here. Please take a look at those. If you have not gotten your raffle tickets for the Buster Doll, please be sure to do that. Uh, and I say that even though I want to take it home, I'm like increasing the odds against that. Is that yeah, good? All right, thank you. And we ended up talking for a couple of hours. Um, it turned out that Jerry is very interested in World War II history. He was a member of the RDF, and my father was a veteran of the Army Air Corps in the Second World War. And uh, my uncle was killed in action at Anzio Beach. So Jerry was fascinated about my own family history. We talked about airplanes, gardening, shoes, dressing gowns, music, film, you name it. Uh, we became good friends. And we talked to one another every month. And he was very disappointed um, to have a scheduling conflict and, and not be here. He did tell me that he would try as best he could to put together something for us, a greeting. And we were getting close to convention time and I thought it wasn't going to happen. So imagine my surprise when I got a call from him Tuesday. And I heard, Nikki, it's Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he said that he had made a video for us to show here. He's been working with a uh, film documentarian named Lori Gordon and a gentleman named Tom Llewellyn. And they're actually making a documentary about Jerry's life. And they took time out of their filming to make this for us. And I hope you enjoy it. Wow. Now, basically, it was in the cafeteria of the National Film Board of Canada in about, uh, what was it, 1963, when the idea came to do a kind of travel option for this uh, guy jumping off the bridge in London and ending up on the east coast of Canada and going right across from east to west. And somehow Buster's name came up. Went down to New York and Buster was staying at the, uh, I think, the Essex Hotel at Wigan Central Park. And he actually opened the door and they would, you know, screwed it up to his room and uh, he went through the half a page we had. And he said, well, it's ridiculous, but if you write that I can have a wild duck en route, I'll do it. Oh. <laughs> I thought, didn't think anything. I didn't think at the time, how the hell are we going to get a wild duck <laughs> from a train? Anyway, we actually did. Buster and the rest of us had a nice duck dinner, and uh, oh. <laughs> poor old duck never got to Florida. I'm much older now than Buster was when he left us so early. Certainly changed my life. But just the excellence of his work and the perfection of his amazing physical prowess tricks, the things that he did. Uh, it's it's <laughs> obviously very dangerous at the time. In fact, as I, even as I go and you say, God, did we actually do that? It really was quite tricky because he said, oh, it's a piece of cake. I've done that in my high school, it's an atmosphere, so I think. Well, this, uh, this was a setup after we finished shooting Rock Brother. Um, you know, a few months after, I went down to see Buster and Eleanor in Hollywood when he was the, the mayor of Woodland Hills. And I was 
very impressed by going into the backyard of their house and all around the fence he had a model railroad set up and it was used to carry cocktails to people on little flat cars and I think wow this is really something Dan Fino, so I hope you have a great time down there hmm. I'm sorry I'm not with you uh, David uh, I will be seeing you in that pre-arranged place next Thursday in London <laughs> near Tower Bridge as we arrange at 2.30 I've got it all written down. <laughs> uh, Nikki Crabtree, thank you for calling and chatting and uh, getting me all geared up to do something, at least uh, with my friend Laurie and her colleague Tom, uh, trying to put up a little, few little shots of this and that, which hopefully will get you all into serious model railroading. <laughs> <laughs>